Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you my necessities for what to carry in your clutch for prom night because I'm actually a freshman in college now, but I did go to prom three different years, so I think I have some good tips and tricks on what you absolutely need to be carrying with you and what you don't because clutches are pretty small so you can't fit a lot in them. So first I'm going to get off showing you guys some of my clutches that I actually used for prom. This first one's my favorite and I think I actually used this for a homecoming dance as well as for a prom night. And it's just really cute. It's silver and it's metallic and it has a little bow on the front. This is actually from Charming Charlie's. Charming Charlie's has really great and expensive clutches for prom night because with prom night you're probably only going to be using it once so you don't want to spend a whole lot of money for one night. Next I have this black one I used one year and this is just basic black and it has crystal detailing and it opens like that. I don't remember where this one's from but a black clutch is pretty basic. Um, I feel like black isn't quite as appropriate for prom as it is for homecoming season because prom, you know, it's springtime, but it's definitely always an option. And then these nice big fold-over clutches um, are great if you, for whatever reason, have a little bit more you have to carry with you. Um, these are really nice. This is actually a freebie from Victoria's Secret. It was like a free gift with like purchase. Uh, I got it a long time ago, but um, I never used it for prom just because I never had a gold dress. But it is super cute. This is the clutch that I actually packed to show you guys, so we're just going to go ahead and get started and I will show you what is in my clutch for prom night, even though it's not really for prom night because I'm not going to prom. I'm too old. It's sad. Like, I miss prom, but whatever. So the first thing you're definitely going to need is your ticket, and this is actually an old ticket from one of my prom dances, and I just still had it in here so I figured I would show it as a good visual. Do not forget your ticket because that like, shows that you bought a ticket and like paid to get in. Um. Next is your school ID, and my school personally was Nazis about this, and I forgot my ID a couple different times. And if you figure out your ID, they have to have, at least at my school, they had to have three different of the deans. ID you, meaning they had to be like, oh yeah, I know that girl, she goes to this school. Luckily the deans knew me because of like student council, but I mean, if they wouldn't have, I don't know what would have happened. Like if I was just some random and they were like, nope, never seen her before. Mm -mm. So yeah, remember your ticket and your ID. Those are the first and most important things you really need to have with you. Next is your phone, and this is pretty self-explanatory. You really need to have your phone in case you get separated from someone or in case of emergency and you need to call. Um, also, this can double as your camera because, I don't know about you guys, but when when you take pictures for prom, like it's picture time, like everyone, you know, you plan a location and it's like your legit prom pictures, you know, I'd have my mom use the nice camera, but once you're leaving and you're going to dinner and the actual dance and the pictures are more just kind of fun, um, I think that your phone is great for that. So yeah, your phone doubles as your phone and your camera for the night. and. Um, if you have a bulky case on it, I just suggest taking it off for the night and um, putting a thinner one on or either just not having a case on it for the night. Next is a hair tie because it gets really hot on the dance floor. And I'm sure you guys know that if you've been to school dances before. I just feel like prom is even worse because you're wearing a ball, like a floor length gown pretty much. And it gets really disgusting and hot outside or inside, like in the dance mosh pit. So yeah, have a hair tie because at that point you really don't have to look pretty anymore. So if you're really sweaty and like you had a hairdo where your hair was worn down, just put your hair up. So, and plus if you don't need it, one of your friends might. So next is kind of awkward, but I mean, not really um, a tampon <laughs> because if it's not you who starts her period on prom night, it's going to be one of your friends or some random girl in the bathroom who's like freaking out. So just have a tampon just in case. It's pretty small and it fits nicely inside. You can always get um, like the little mini travel size ones too. I think Kotex makes some. So yeah, definitely have a tampon with you because you never know what's going to happen. Next I have oil absorbing sheets and these are just the ones from Clean and Clear. These are literally my lifesaver always but especially on prom night. Like, because I don't like to have to bring a powder to blot with, and it's just kind of unnecessary. But these are great because you can, if you go to the bathroom, you can just blot your face really quick, and it gets sort of all the oil without taking off your makeup, so they're awesome. If I had to pick one thing besides, like, my phone and ticket and ID that I could bring, I would probably pick those. 
Next is a little bit of cash just in case of emergency. Again, you never know for sure what's going to happen and you only have a little bit of space to carry things in. So you don't want to bring your whole wallet. But um, this is also good because say you're going with someone who like you're not really sure. It's not really a date. Like you're kind of going as friends. You don't know if they're going to pay for you or not. Or just I have anxiety about that. It's I always thought like what if he like does it? pay for me. It's just always nice to have cash just in case because you don't want to be that girl in that awkward situation where the guy like doesn't, usually he'll indicate he'll be like oh yeah we're together to like the waitress or waiter but if he doesn't it's just nice to have cash just in case. Even though I'm going to hope that your date pays for your meal because call me old fashioned but I don't know. I just think that that's kind of how it goes and that's how it should be. And I have another tampon in here. I don't know why I put two in. Next is just a couple pieces of gum. And I don't really recommend bringing a whole pack. You can if you want to. But um, it takes up more room. And if you do, everyone is going to be nagging you for gum all night. Um, so yeah, I just recommend putting two or three pieces in. One for you and one for your date. And then maybe an extra one just in case. Because you're going to want gum after you eat. Because, you know, that's just normal. Next I recommend having a little tiny pill case. And... This one is actually from Charming Charlie's. This is good because even if you're not someone who's on prescription meds and you have to bring your medications with you, it's still good to have this and fill it with like maybe four or five Advil because you never know if it's not you who gets a headache or something else, someone else in your group is probably going to and someone's probably going to ask for Advil because that just always happens. Also maybe like a few Tums. I personally hate Tums but I know most people can tolerate them just in case someone's sick to their stomach for whatever reason. So again, even if it's not you or your date, it's probably going to be someone else in your group who might be needing some medicine for some reason. These are really small and cute, so they don't take up a lot of room. Next, the only cosmetic I bring is actually my lip color to touch up for the night. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour. And this is really nice because I actually used this for prom last year. It has the stain on one end. So that's your lip color and then you know how a lot of times those get really flaky and disgusting so on the other end they have a little balm they have a little balm that goes over it and just keeps it really smooth and it kind of it feels like chapstick so I love this these are really good for prom night just bring your lip color to touch up you don't want to be touching up a lot because again after pictures it's not super important how you look I mean you still want to look good but you know what I mean you don't have to look perfect and I just recommend touching up after you eat because obviously your lip color is going to wear off. Because sometimes you do take some more pictures with people when you actually get to the dance. But the next thing isn't really necessary unless you're a little bit worried about germs. Um, and prom night, you know, I just feel like it's good to have. And that is a little mini hand sanitizer. This is just the Midnight Pomegranate from Bath and Body Works. And again, these are really small and everything fits nicely inside this clutch that I packed. And my clutch is pretty small. Um, so this is just good to have for after you guys eat dinner, or before you eat dinner, actually. Afterwards, why would it matter, really? So yeah, hand sanitizer is good to have. And last but not least is bobby pins. And these are for you and your friends who have the really super intricate, cute little updos where there's tons of bobby pins, and you're going to have pieces falling out, and you don't want to be that girl who's freaking out and doesn't have bobby pins, because that's annoying. And whenever I had my hair done it was always pinned in some kind of like fancy way and it would always start falling out so you just need some extra bobby pins just in case because again you need to be prepared you never know what's gonna happen and that's like a girl's worst nightmares for her hair to not look good in like her prom pictures that would suck really bad so I think that's everything I have to show you guys on my clutch I know Prom's coming up really quickly, so if you are going, I hope you have an amazing time. It's so much fun. Um, a lot of memories are made that night, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Beauty by Jacqueline C, and that's what you're watching right now. And then be sure to follow me on all my social media sites if you would like to see a little bit more and follow me a little bit more. I will have everything linked in the bottom bar below. So that is everything for this video, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye! I got my eyes on you